Oh, you can reset. Oh my Thank God. You. Check engine lights on. It's getting weird when I'm accelerating. I feel like we don't do anything fun anymore. Get the cheapest, highest proof vodka you can get your hands on. But uh, maybe we'll run the diagnostic on it while we're doing this. I have no idea how to title it anyways, but take you with me through the disaster that I'm calling a week, week and a half, two weeks. Battery in my car died. All three sets of our jumper cables are missing. I did sell the jump box last year, like October. And then I just forgot to replace it. We're taking the van. We're gonna go pick up some stuff. Let's check engine lights on. It's getting weird. Let's do this. And now! Right, YouTube. Pick up the Ansel FX3000. Does all ten modes of OBD2 test: EOBD and CAN. So uh, we'll run that on our check engine light. All right, here she is, Ansel FX3000. Let's dig into this. Micro USB cables, your OBD2, two device sensor, flash drive, SD card reader, quick start guide. Oh, there we go. Directions, so DB15 connector, DTC lookup button, LCD screen, our select button, our OK button, our escape button, and we've got USB port and memory card slot. Does it come with a memory card? Let's see. Oh, it does. There's one in there already. Sweet. So preparation and connections. Turn the vehicle ignition on. Throttle should be in closed position. Just do it. On. Throttle is closed. That's what I said. Locate the vehicle's DLC socket. The data link connector or diagnostic link connector, OBD2 connector, is typically standard 16 pin for the code reader's interface. They all came up on you, but not me. I'm gonna show you how I like to interface. I am so offended. I do like this little cap on it. I've had those pins bend before, it's not fun. Connect the cable into the vehicle's DLC. Plug the other end in the DB15 connector and tighten the screws. Let's find out. Oh, that was quick. Tighten these down just so I don't pull on them. Let's get right into diagnose. And then we gotta hit okay. OBD2. Oh, oh, we got a lot of, what is it? A lot of fails. Camshaft position sensor A circuit intermittent bank two. Fault code is not found in the database. Camshaft position sensor circuit bank one. Camshaft uh oh. So we've got a camshaft, that is an actual. Signal of A intake left front, CMP sensor unstable at the set time, DTC will appear. We're gonna do an erase here. I've never cleared it since they started going off. So curious if uh, it's gonna kick back on just by starting the car here. All right, so my bank sensors are okay. All right, so those all pass. Engine coolant temperature. I'm kinda digging this. This is a nice breakdown, easy to use device. I am gonna do the update though, cause I wanna see if there's uh, anything. Cause it said a couple of codes it wasn't reading. Oxygen sensor, see the voltage is okay in there. I don't know why it was, it was triggering that code. Like I need an OBD2 sensor, but all right, so. We have a lot of other vehicles to test. We're gonna keep this one going. We're gonna check this one. We've gotta test the element. We've got all kinds of weird sensors going off on that one. And uh, yeah, we're gonna even take this to an actual mechanic and see what his thoughts are on it. Um, but first things first, I'm gonna do the update. Hop online and we are gonna go to anceltech.com. I'm gonna click download and then FX3000. Oh, I have not registered yet. So we are gonna register first. All right, so we want the FX3000, there you are. So we're going to upgrade our software, download that, and I'm downloading all of this as well, so I will always have the manuals. This is the one thing I recommend everybody does. In our downloads folder, and we are going to install the tool. Now the update version I'm doing is, you can take out the SD card, and it actually comes with a supplied SD card reader for you that you'll be able to plug into the system to make it work. So connection mode. Okay, device upgrade, email address. If I get spelled today, actually my keyboard's broken and I just keep forgetting to switch it out. Submit. 
There we go. We have our list. Chrysler's on the list. Honda's on the list. All right, we got all kinds of stuff in here. This is perfect. And we're gonna click download. And this part, we get to wait a little bit. It does have a nice little graphic at the top to show you how fast it's downloading. Now I will say, while this is downloading, uh, they actually send you a decent uh, info guide and a step-by-step -step guide uh, manual. So you don't have to go to a computer. You're not gonna have to sit there on your phone and look at it and try and figure out you know, what's what if there's something that you know, doesn't make sense or something along those lines. And uh, it's, it's nice to get those. Obviously, you know, not much comes with it anymore since the days of the VCR. There we go, YouTube. So I would recommend uh, using the TF card. It comes with it, the SD card reader, and that way you can plug it in and that seems to work just fine. Yeah, we'll do check engine first then. So you got a O2 sensor heater circuit bank one. Is that the only code you have? I guess so. The check engine light, maintenance required, I know is an oil change light that they have in there, and then the brake light. So that's all that's wrong with it. Well, that's not all that's wrong with the car. Oh, it even tells you what they're worth, like what they do. Oh, really? Yeah, like what an uh, oxygen sensor would be. Got one on your like head pipe, and then you got one on your catalytic, each catalytic converter. Okay. And it measures evap system testing too. Is so that you don't have, it, yeah it's telling you you don't have a leak. Oh nice. So like evap is like um they got like canisters and stuff so basically it's like your evaporation of your like greenhouse gases that they make. Right. So that goes through your cats and everything. That's ba basically what a catalytic converter does. Limits the flow, converts it into different gases. You can have the car running for these okay. ones. Okay. But this one's showing you like your ignition timing, vehicle speed, RPM because like this can be used as a monitor. You can like set this up. Oh, so like if we're driving, we can test out and see for when yeah. we're getting ready to race Vin Diesel. Yeah. We know how much NOS we can drop. It tells you uh, throttle position, intake, air temperature, uh, oxygen sensor, output, voltage, and everything. Actually, nice. Wow. It tells you everything. It even tells you fuel like in your banks and the pressure inside your um, intake manifold. Because that's all your vacuum runs off, usually your intake manifold, like okay. all that. This honestly, this is just like the Matco one we have at school. Like, it's really not that much different. I will be honest, this one's faster. Really? I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so I wonder if your school one has more cars it's trying to sort through, data-wise? <laughs> yeah, I think that might be the big difference, though. But to be honest, like, unless you're working at a shop, which each shop probably just has one. Right. You don't need anything that big. Right. I mean, unless no, you're yeah. actually running a business. Because to be honest, you're not going to be... Most people, average person's not going to be working on like the new AMG Mercedes right, Benz. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's going to give you the whole rundown of your vehicle. It's going to tell you wow. if what ABS system you have, what uh, restraints, what airbag system. should tell you everything. That's really nice, especially if you need to look up any part or get new parts. And yeah. Okay, so it's going to tell you how to diagnose your, your automatic transmission. You know, all you need is your VIN and this, and you can literally find anything you ever need. So it's telling your engine system too. So it's basically, there's nothing wrong with this, is basically okay. what it's saying. Like these are the three systems that you could... Go through and read. Yeah. This has got a lot of stuff. It's got, it's got Volkswagen, uh, USA Ford, Toyota, Suzuki, Mercedes Sprinter vans, uh, Saab, Porsche. Puget? Puga? Yeah. Opal, Mitsubishi. Maybe? Oh, there you go. Now there's a lot of like Chrysler's that will actually be in the Mitsubishi because they use Mitsubishi uh, computers. Okay. It's got European Ford, Fiat, GM, wow. Australian Ford or Austria one two I don't know. Whichever one it is. A Daewoo like a Doosan Daewoo they make oh. uh, a lot of forklifts. Okay. So it's a nice little. It actually got a lot of stuff. I mean he's got everything that you would need. So this What's thing this even... you can actually record. Everything. So yeah this thing even records so like, technically I think you could go in here let me try something. Data stream. Oh yeah. yeah. I'll be able to tell you. Telling you there everything, you 700, uh, telling your RPMs, telling your bank one fuel trim, which that might actually be wrong where that one auction sensor is bad. Oh, okay. Because I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know about Hondas, but that should not be negative. Okay. So that might be where that, that actual, problem is. Okay. Showing your, hang on, back up. It's showing your uh, big timing and everything for your first cylinder. Oh, wow. Wait, so if we hit OK, it'll save all of it? And it cool temperature. Oh, wow. Yeah, like if this, you can check to see what, just what you want to see. So like okay. if you want to see just five things, you select those, like those five and then go back into it. Wow. So YouTube, this is why I brought Jake along. Obviously I could read through this and figure it all out. And I know how to use the basic idea of this, but you know, this is what Jake does. <laughs> he knows these things. <laughs> this is like really nice. Yeah, so it'd be, I think, 
Uh, we have a, the coupon code is, I think it's Suburban. I'll pop it up on screen. All right, it is code Suburban, S-U-B-U-R-B-A-N, and that's going to give you, I believe, 20% off the product itself. Uh, and so I will have a link to the item that we use in this video. I'm also going to have a link below that too uh, to search the entire store. They have way more advanced features, specialty for trucks and semis, and then they also have your basic if you just want to know the code yourself so you, you know what you're doing. And hopefully you can help you save some money and help take care of your car yourself. Oh, you can reset. Oh my Individual God. Individual too. Dude, you know, that is so nice because a lot of these like Hyundais and stuff and even the new Ford Escapes, right. you cannot bleed the brakes like without one of these because uh, the ABS, if you even get a little bit of air in there, you have to literally use a computer and a bleeder to bleed those brakes. Okay. Uh, I ran into it with my brother. We were working on a Hyundai and we bled the brakes for hours and we couldn't figure it out. We even tried to bleed the block, the ABS block. Yeah. We ended up going to a shop and the guy showed us that you actually need something like this to bleed them because that ABS will not allow it to bleed. Oh. So you can reset that, uh, the battery change. So like if you rechange, say you change your battery yeah. and you get like your cars running funky because yeah. that happens sometimes. It resets the computer when you disconnect the negative terminal right. on some vehicles. Mine that will reset everything. That will actually reset it back to its last. Uh, Saved, whatever. Yeah. Like, with, okay, like within, in there. The, within, within the, the ECU. Yeah. So when you do that, it should go back to that and you'll never have to run funky. That's awesome. Steering angle reset, I don't know. That's fancy. The, that check engine light, some vehicles it takes a four minute reset, like uh Driving around, it'll yeah, pop it'll, off to the... So, or maybe. <laughs> for my truck, when I clear my codes, if I turn it off and turn it back on, it come back right away. But if I just turn it on and then go, it'll take about four miles. Okay. Four, it's like four miles or four minutes. A little bit of time in between. Yeah, and then it, it'll, because it's called a cycle. Your your computer does a full cycle back. Gotcha. Beautiful. I like that a lot. Awesome. So we are we are Jake approved and Beard approved. Any questions? Drop them down below. We're gonna have Jake. We're gonna have Jake in some more videos, and we're gonna get uh, Jake going up on his own channel here. He doesn't know it yet, but uh, we're gonna have some <laughs> fun with it. So uh, if you have a shop in the area, we'd love to be able to come by and work there and do some stuff. So let me know if you're in anywhere in northern Ohio. I love you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Stay thrifty, my friends. Today I didn't even have to use my AK. I gotta say it was a good day.